With the final two waves of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, we are going to get some new characters to go with it. Specifically, five more. And today, we're going to discuss the possibilities of what those five characters could be. And the, and the um, yeah, just seeing what they could be and what could come out of it. And what maybe won't be. And yeah, that's the point of this video, just to discuss. But let's get to it. My first thing I want to mention is, um, since it's five characters, they're going to distribute the characters. And that is going to be interesting, because... Obviously, you can't get an even number to get five more characters, so um, I'm thinking next wave, so wave five, there's gonna be two more characters, and then wave probably six will have that extra three characters, which therefore will make five more characters. Math! But yeah, I mean, that's what I think the characters list is gonna be like for the distributing of it. But that's not a big, big deal compared to, like, just talking about what the characters are themselves. That is what people are more interested in, including myself. So, let's talk about that part. The first big character that I think has a very good chance of getting in, and really should have been in in the first place, Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is, like, a very legendary character. Obviously, it's not as legendary as, like, Funky Kong, but I'm gonna be honest... It, I only half see Donkey Kong getting in, like, I can, if, it depends if there's a DK track or not, but if there's a Donkey Kong specific track, easily a Diddy Kong and maybe even Funky Kong, but Diddy Kong, I would definitely put for sure on the list, but maybe we'll get Funky Kong, that's the iffy one though. Another easy clap of a character, literally, is Pauline. Pauline is an original Mario Kart character for this game, excluding Tor. I also think with Pauline, it would bring more interesting because there'd be different suits for like the bike just naturally with how those characters work. I think that would be the case with Pauline. I don't know for sure though, but yeah, I, I would say that's a very likely scenario though, having Pauline added to the game just as a, either just as a nice character addition or just in general and speaking of new characters that have not been in a more mainline mario kart game in on a console let's talk about some other characters that i think would fit really well here one character that i think would work really well and i, I could see this going in a couple different ways um kamek kamek is probably no definitely an interesting character because i believe he was supposed to be in the beta of mario kart 64 i think wario replaced him so that would be such a neat reference because he's in Mario Kart Tour. It would not be hard. But having a character that technically could have been a thing in the past being brought back, that would be cool. I don't know how cool you guys think that would be, but that, that would be such a cool, interesting addition. Because then that character would be like, it finally is a thing in this mainline game. But yeah. I think that one's a pretty likely one as well. Another character from a past Mario Kart game that's kind of obscure, but would be really freaking cool, Petey Piranha. And the reason I say Petey Piranha is because, well, A, he's in Tor. That's kind of a instant giveaway, being in Tor. That's, that's kind of a thing on its own. But it's Petey Piranha. Like, come on. Who would not want Petey Piranha? Like, he's kind of a cool character, and I wish we had him and stuff like half the coupling stuff but you know that's besides the point and i do think pd piranha is very likely in fact and especially with what could be a case with like a cool pd piranha skin i don't know i just think it'd be really cool like just having this boss like we don't really have many boss characters outside like bowser and like more obviously outside the Koopalings, we don't have many villain characters, but the Koopalings really should just all be one character. But you know, besides the point, yeah, Petey Piranha would be sick. And I mean, really sick. But maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. But yeah, we have a couple more characters that I want to talk about. Obviously, we are already at four, and five of you, five of you include Funky. But yeah. I want to talk about a few more possible additions as well, not, that aren't, you know, just the usual. So let's talk about a few more additions. I don't know if this would be considered an alt or not, but I think it'd be a really cool nonetheless, just having this kind of skin in the game. So you know that in Mario Kart Tour, they have the SNES Mario and Donkey Kong Jr., I believe? Well, take those, put them in this game. I feel like that would be sick. 
Like, honestly, the voice lines might be slightly weird, but you know, just having those like classic looking characters, I don't know. I feel like it kind of fits with the booster course pass style, ironically. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a thing nonetheless, and that would be so cool. And obviously, I, I don't know if it'll happen for sure, but maybe alternate costumes could happen as well, just in general. So that would make this even more sick and even more epic, but I don't think that's super likely. It's more so a thing that I think I would really want. The last character we're gonna be talking about, well, last characters, is one of them, Montimon. I said I would like Montimon in the past. I think it's just a unique addition, and with tracks such as Chaco Mountain already being here, it fits. It 100% fits. Plus, Montimo is already kind of an enemy in the game. So, like, yeah, it would be kind of weird. But we already have Yoshi objects and, like, toads. So, like, just throw in a Montimo as a character. You already have the models right there in this game. Not even in Tor. Like, you can use this game's models, which could be higher quality. I don't know for sure, but I'd, ha I'd have to look into that. But just that fact alone makes it, like, an easy pick for me. You can just probably just take the eight dollar eight eight yeah mario create object model throws them tour animations boom easy dub in my opinion but there's one more character of course that i want to talk about and that is king babam yeah i i kind of goes along with pd prana with the boss character theming like we, we could have a more unique boss character that isn't just bowser or bowser jr or koopalings or something and king babam as PD Piranha would as well perfectly fits that description and that's exactly why you know I think PD Piranha and King Babama likely or well, maybe one or the other I don't know for sure I'd kind of prefer PD Piranha as a retro character but I don't know comment down below what you think and yeah that's all I really have I don't see many other characters getting in because I mean we already have most of the characters from the past Mario Kart just a few more that I would like to be thrown in from Tor. But yeah, that's all I have, so bye.